And that is your rush block at 506. A Kentucky teenager at the center of a viral video facing off with a Native American is fighting back, suing the Washington Post. Nicholas Sandman claims the newspaper made, quote, false and defamatory accusations against him. Liza Lucas is at the bridge monitoring all things social for us this morning. So Liza, the teenager also claims the attack was part of a political agenda on the part of the Post. Yeah, that's all in the lawsuit, which claims that the Post was ignoring journalistic standards in order to advance its agenda against the president. Now, this lawsuit comes a week after the Kentucky Diocese found that those students did not instigate the confrontation at the Lincoln Memorial. But in that very viral video, you can see Salmon, the 16 year old standing face to face with Native American elder Nathan Phillips on the moment set off social media with many insisting Salmon was intimidating the older man in a racially motivated incident. Students told investigators they felt Phillips was coming to the group to join their own cheers meant to drown out insults from a group of black street preachers. Now in an interview on the Today Show, the teen said he was misrepresented in the media and a lot of you have been talking about this debating whether he deserves a payout on our Facebook page getting to some of those comments. Jeannie was one that says that he deserves the money and that 250 million just for reference. That's what Jeff Bezos actually paid originally for the paper and Andrea saying he deserves something, but maybe 250 million is a little excessive and then others don't want to see him get a dime. Let us know whether you fall in this conversation. Use that hashtag morning rush ATL in the meantime, Chesley over to you.